UNC football program has been knocking on the door of greatness for a while now. Recruiting classes have been excellent under Mac Brown, yet the results have not quite lived up to the hype. Lauren Brownlow analyzes why this phenomenon is happening in this week's Brownlow Mailbag. This week, I'm going to answer a question from Matt Kraus at Matt Kraus NC on Twitter. And Matt asked, do you think UNC football actually is, wait for it, a sleeping giant? Yeah, yeah, we're going there. Either way, <laughs> what do you think it is that holds it back despite being able to recruit at a top 20 level? Is it a campus culture thing? I mean, campus culture, I think we can't deny the role that that plays. I mean, especially when you look into things like the way the administration in the past has been resistant to things like Thursday Night Football, for example, and the disruption it would cause to campus. And, and you can't overlook the fact that tailgate, it's not the friendliest place to tailgate if you've ever been there. It's just not a great tailgating place. It doesn't have a distinct like tailgating culture in that way. And obviously, the basketball program being what it is. I think that there's this almost this aspect, this sort of feeling among Carolina fans. When you're used to following a basketball program that by and large has a lot of national success, and you're asked to sort of support a football program in the same way that's not having that kind of success. So it's like a chicken and egg thing, right? It's like you're spoiled with the basketball program and then you're being asked to like have hope for football that it's all gonna work out and be better. I understand from a fan perspective why that's hard to sort of lean into and embrace sometimes. It's gotten better. I mean, I think like Larry Fedora did some things to improve culture in that way. Mac Brown has of course done some things to do that, but and it's not as simple as recruiting at a top 20 level, I think, in terms of becoming like a national power because you've got to be recruiting with the Clemsons and the Alabamas of the world. 